you cannot have um, one piece in a puzzle being reproducible and other pieces are not being reproducible. That doesn't work. So they have to harmonize and align the rest of the pieces, whether it is the data collection piece or the, the modeling piece uh, to be uh, consistent and achieve the overall end-to-end -end objectives. And this is still somewhat of a, a new uh, area. And um, we, uh, uh, even though we don't uh, ask them, the customers have uh, uh, encouraged us to be a lot more prescriptive, encouraged the, uh, us to tell their teams to be, you know, to organize their work a certain way, simply because we, we have the opportunity to see many companies and many groups. Yeah, and it makes total sense. You don't want one thing to be very shiny and nice and then the, the rest is put together by a string and it's not working and you have problems with it so Correct. i can see how, and, how that would work and consistent with what flavio was saying right all of this is high risk stuff let me give you a concrete uh, example to help uh, uh, understand uh, the situation see there, there's a customer of mine um, uh, that actually uh, is taking inventory bets on the products they have to decide whether to uh, uh, you know, keep nine units or 50 units of a certain product and uh, for that they have to do forecasting and the understand the demand and, and so on. Now, uh, you know, it was a uh, recently uh, they, they started noticing uh, some unusual behavior of the models. Um, then uh, when they started uh, uh, investigating, the first thing that they go to is the actual the modeling code, the scikit learn, you know, whatever, whatever code. And the Jupyter notebook, and from there uh, they start tracing it back uh, all the way. And uh, it turned out that uh, what was happening is that the Java application code that was there at the, which was the source of uh, a lot of this data, uh, they made uh, some implicit uh, decisions um, about uh, how to handle products from some geography and not from, uh, and how to handle products from a different geography. There was some element uh, there. But this end-to-end -end, uh, uh, debugging process, um, uh, you know, they, they they struggled to debug actually what was what was the model that was actually put into production, right? the the precise code because the code itself was moving uh, very fast. Um, when they were able to come to uh, uh, the Scribble platform itself, which uh, whose work ends at the uh, data set uh, generation. Uh, from here, we could go back and say, this is exactly what we uh, were, what our sources of the data was there. Because as a matter of routine, we, we keep track of the metadata, we have a linear search, all of those kinds of things. It was clearly apparent that uh, you cannot have this end-to-end -end, uh, debugging uh, ability with uh, black holes uh, in the middle. And uh, in this case, uh, they were able to find the... Um, uh, they had logged the data set that they had uh, used for the modeling. So from there, we were able to chase it down to the uh, Java source and then fix it. And uh, it is not, uh, uh, you know, this happens actually uh, quite uh, frequently. So I believe that reproducibility and explainability will be driven not so much by the asks of uh, third parties like right, regulatory authorities but uh, just because you have the need to understand and debug your own data science systems that you have built if you don't understand what bets it is taking when and why you won't be able to manage the risk wow that's that's really thought provoking the change will come from the internal side as opposed to regulations 